Hi, my name is Nathan Jeffers. I'm going to do a little tutorial in Lightroom 4 today and show you how to brighten up your foreground and improve the, the drama in your sky here. So this was, I went out uh, the other day with my brother and just did a little photo shoot with a lens, a uh, Zeiss 28mm uh, 2.1 lens that I, that I rented. And for most of the time, the clouds were kind of in the, had this kind of look, and we found this interesting sign here that we thought would be a cool background. Uh, and then just just before we left, the sky kind of did this really awesome. It had this really awesome uh, texture and drama to it, just as the sun was going down. Um, so what I'm going to teach you how to do is take this photo and turn it into this one. This technique is helpful. I mean, generally, it's uh, it's helpful when you don't have any extra light, or if you you forgot your flash, anything like that, and you can't add light to the foreground. What I'll do is I'll take the picture significantly underexposed. This might be a little bit too much, just so that I'm not clipping the highlights there. If I had taken the photo properly exposed, it would have been maybe something around there, maybe a little bit less, but see I've lost a lot of the detail in in the sky and we can take some of that back but we're never going to get quite as much back as um, as if we would taken it using this technique here. Um, so with most photos what I like to do is kind of work my way down this um, the adjustments panel over here on the right hand side so usually I start with my white balance and kind of fix that um, I'll take the eyedropper here and select something that's supposed to be gray like the ground here that's a little bit too much I might go there and then brighten up the exposure so I see what that looks like that's looking pretty decent I might cool it down just a tiny bit more and then bring that exposure back. And then what I like to do is add a tiny bit of exposure and a little bit of contrast. And really where we're going to see a lot of the, the drama come back, or the light come back in the foreground is down here with the highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. So I'm going to bring up my shadows to about 100 bring up my black significantly that's looking really green yeah what was it as shot interesting sometimes I'll do auto and see what that does obviously that's quite not what we want it and then I'll go sometimes I'll go through these presets if I'm not happy with the what the eyedropper is doing. Cloudy is not too bad for the foreground. Obviously we've lost quite a bit with quite a bit of the cool look with the clouds there and we'll adjust that a little bit later. Um, and then I'm gonna take the clarity up quite a bit and what this does is it finds uh, any pixels that are close together that have a lot of contrast it brings up that contrast so we can see if we zoom in to the like this kind of backlit area here what it does is turning it down evens out the the highlights to the, sh the kind of midtones there and this will add a little bit more punch to your picture anyway if you go back down from there to the beginning you can already see the dramatic difference that we've made um, in the photo just by working with this basic panel here um, we might bring a little bit up in vibrance and then we'll start working with the tone curve I'm just gonna bring out the midtones there a little bit uh, I changed the point curve to custom and then I just pulled up the middle area there now I can probably bring back down the blacks a tiny bit. And what you can see, and this is kind of the advantage of shooting with with flash, I mean obviously, and with, with lights, is that you have 
you don't get as much grain because I'm having I'm having to pull up the brightness quite a bit so we can reduce the noise some um, we don't want to reduce it too much otherwise it has kind of a, a fake smooth look but that already helps quite a bit and the next thing we'll probably move to is lens corrections here and I'm going to enable profile corrections and now since it was the Zeiss lens with an EF mount, it's not communicating directly with the camera, so I have to go find it myself manually. Zeiss, and then it was a Zeiss Distagon 28 with F2. And that what that does, you can see, is it adjusts for the bend of the lens and also the vignetting, although I like the vignetting, so I'm going to bring that amount down to zero. And then for most of my photos I like to add a vignette. It just kind of focuses your attention a bit and it works really well with this sky adding some drama up to the top. I'll just kind of change this till I'm happy with it. That's not too bad. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I'm going to add some color noise reduction there. It's looking pretty good. The one thing that I'm missing from this is we don't have uh, that nice color in the sky like it was before. It's kind of a odd orangish green blue color that I don't like quite as much as the original. And so what we can do in Lightroom 4 is take the adjustment brush here and it allows you to have all the same corrections that you have in the basic panel but allows you to paint them on to individual areas. So what I'm going to do is just paint a brush stroke and then I'm going to cool this back down and it'll take a little bit. So you can see that area where I painted is much cooler. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to be very particular with this. I mean, you can really get in there and, you know, zoom in and get into the little details, but I'm not going to do that. To erase an adjustment area with the adjustment brush, I usually just hold down Alt or Option and then paint again. So I'm going to just continue painting here. That's looking pretty good. And now what we can do is also add a lot of clarity to the clouds. Pump that up quite a bit. And that's going to add a lot of that, those dynamics, that texture that you see um, back there. Um, so that's already looking pretty close to what we had originally. Um, and he's just a little bit too dark. So what I can do is click back on the adjustment brush, fill this brush with some exposure, and then just paint over him, just almost as if I was adding an artificial light that's shining on him. Uh, one of the things you'll see if we were to zoom in here on him is that when I add that exposure I might go a little bit more when I add that exposure I'm adding noise so you can turn up the noise reduction here just to to adjust for that okay so from there to there is quite an improvement and uh, if you have any question just just leave your question in the, the comment area on the YouTube page and um, I'll try to answer it as best as possible.